Hey everybody, Omega Alden plays Into the Breach continues right now. We're playing as the, the Blitzkrieg, aka the Lightning Boys. And uh, we got our we got our, one of our guys killed last time through an accident of me rushing things. But uh, that's okay. We also had to spend a lot, I think, on fixing up grid defense. I may be wrong there, but I think that's how that worked out. Defend the Earth Mover and battle with less than four mech damage. Protect the robotic slab. So this uh, seems potentially problematic, although we might be able to pull some boys in. We've got uh, not a lot of ways to protect this thing if people are right next to it. Luckily, they appear to be going directly at us for the most part right here. Can we pop him? He's only doing one damage here. So that's not the end of the world. By any means. We can't pull him over here, unfortunately. So this thing's taking one damage, I believe. It's now time to figure out how to... Stop the rest of this stuff from happening. I kind of think we have to smash this. We could do a little shenanigans right here with the uh, hole to get him to kill his buddy. Or we could go damage these guys now. I probably should have damaged him before I sent him away. But this is also fine. I kind of want to stand right next to this thing to minimize the chance of... Uh, Minimize the chance of somebody getting an attack on it because we don't have great ways of dealing with that if multiple guys hit this thing We're kind of screwed for that objective All right, he's going after our boy here, which is not good for him No Okay, so I think we do something like this. We pull him away. This guy's pointless. This guy's hitting nothing. We need to save our little friend here in some manner. But I don't know if we can. I think he might be dead. I think it may be worth just letting him die. <laughs> we could drop this here to stop a spawn. Let me just see here. So we pulled him away. Is there anything we can do to prevent badness from happening over here? I don't think there is. So I think we do this. And I think we kill our boy. Which is unfortunate. But we also got rid of some other dudes. I'm not... I, I need to get him some more health. He needs a health upgrade, so this this power core, I think, needs to go into health for him. Because he's a liability. There's, uh, like, nothing that can be done about it, either. It's just, like, the dude is just a liability. And now we've lost this, uh... We've lost the objective. Like, we can't... We can't do anything here. We, we, if we kill this... Yeah. Okay, well, you know what? We've lost the objective. We may as well roll with it. You know, there's nothing we can do about this. I guess I could have stopped that. But the Earth Mover, like, yeah, this was a, I should not have taken this mission, but I, I got greedy. I wanted the core. <laughs> That's really all there is to it, is I got greedy. Okay, so we just need to prevent, uh, prevent this from happening. A 
let's walk up here and just blast him and and our turn yeah so oh crap I could have got that other objective I'm an idiot that's no I didn't realize how much damage he was doing I am an actual fool now I'm down two pilots this is like this is the worst start I've ever had it's uh it's pretty bad so let's go ahead and get him his health upgrade like we said we were going to criminy like I've, I've uh I've made some mistakes here defending prototype bombs I can't do that with this crew Dude, this is, uh, I don't know, we're taking easy missions right now. This is not, this is not how we wanted to, to go about this, really. I have messed up frequently, numerously, and it is, uh, it is gonna cost us. Okay, so what can we do here? We can pull him over here. And then... Connect you guys? That didn't do what I wanted at all. I'm an, I'm an actual idiot. Well... It still works. It just didn't hit this guy at all like I wanted to. Oh yeah, we need to grab this. We got our flyer. Our flyer can handle it. Dude, I am... This may be like the poorest play I've ever had since I started the game. I think it, I think it must be my poor... Like, getting two pilots killed... Getting all that stuff going on is just, uh... You know, it's sloppy. It's definitely sloppy play. How are all these tiles under attack? Oh, the bomb here. Alright, well, we need to fix the time pod. And, let's see. We can do a whole big blast here. Get a lot of guys in this. And he's cancelled. Let's go ahead and kill this boy. So that he doesn't spawn any more of those bombs. And in turn. We got the time pod. He's flying. I was really hoping that would work. Because I was like, well, he's flying. He should be fine. If he wasn't fine, I was going to feel real stupid right there. Because I would have been like, and your other pilot is dead. Way to go, Alden. Way to go. This guy will die to the thing. Or we could... No, we can't pull him off. But we can make sure that he doesn't do anything. Just to have some fun with it. And our turn. We need to beat this island in two minutes if we want that achievement. So that seems to be, you know, not not possible right now. Reactor core. Because we'd have to do, what, three missions in that time? Yeah, that's just out of the question. Okay, let's try to make up for all the bad decisions we've made in the past let's give our flying boy some more movement so he can help facilitate some better attacks kill at least okay so this is just kill with seismic activity we can handle kill it's when we have to like protect things that can be lightning or hit by our lightning that we're in trouble so we work with things you gotta you gotta pick missions that facilitate your crew because uh i haven't been and that's just a mistake cataclysm squares marked will sink into the earth killing anything on them does that i assume i should not put a flyer over top of it even though it, it seems like that would work out just fine all right so we can do some damage here with the rock
And then let's just chain these guys up with us. Hmm. Like, if you hit here, the rocks don't transfer it. We can bring him up in here, and then this might... No. Okay. I thought it might work out, but we'll just kill this thing. That's fine. And repair ourselves. Yeah, I can't believe just how how poorly the play has been in this uh, this playthrough. I think I'm tilted. I'm tilted from that uh, flame behemoth loss. It's still it still got me. Actually, I think what probably did it was that 30 minute thing where I, I've been speeding up my play a little bit because uh, I'm I, you know I was trying to make make that thing happen. All right, so we drop a rock here. This is Cataclysm, so we need to move you out of the way. But we can get a whole slew of damage here. And now we need to get you out of the way. Perhaps, ah, it'd be nice if we could have pulled this guy in, but we can just pull him off the edge, honestly. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, I would think that Cataclysm would be fine for a flyer and I completely ignored the man killing our grid more sloppy play here just absolutely awful okay so we can chain you guys together with uh, a rock here we don't want to do it like that can we get you out of here? We can have you block this shot. I guess the best way to do it would be to hit him and just kill him. We'll get you to go kill this boy. You can kill this one. And then we need to kill two more enemies by the end. We have two on the map. We're going to have four on the map, so let's just block the attack here. Pull him over so that we're all clustered right here. Wait, is he not going to be able to reach because he can't fly? Has Cataclysm screwed us? We got a couple flyers. Okay, we have like a chain over here potentially. So what if we hit a rock? We move you here. We drop a rock over here. We use a chain attack. No undo. Oh, we can't. We can't chain through the mountain. You can still move, right? So we could pull this guy. We can pull him to his death. We can chain you, but we're taking a damage over here. Hey, let's uh, let's reset this turn because I've kind of think I hosed it because we should have just killed this guy probably with a rock now he's not damaging that building we can go kill this guy and then we can pull him to his death all right that was much better still not a great round but We'll pull through with our, our single Prospero. Prospero is holding it down. Okay, take less than three grid damage. We can do this. Like, we can't easily spare a Volatile Vec or any of that stuff, you know? Like, there's just a lot of things that we can't easily 
pull off here. So let's put him here and him back here. So now all of these buildings are at least joined, so any any zap done here will hit everything. Of course he would go directly at our guy instead of uh, going after a building. Of course he would. That just makes perfect sense. Well, we can easily dispatch him. And I guess we can push him out of the way with a rock. That's not so bad. And... I guess we could have pulled one of those guys over, potentially. I don't know. End your turn over here. It is safe as is for now. No! Okay, we do have a giant connection here, so we should be able to zap everything. Including our buddy who don't really want to zap. Let's see. Hit him with a rock. And then zap everybody. Oh, it cancelled his attack over here. That's good. I thought we were going to have to do some shenanigans to get him out of there. But let's go ahead and rep repair up. End your turn. So less than three grid damage is what we're going for here. So once again, we could connect pretty much all of this. Actually, we we could get everybody who's attacking with uh, with this. We need to move you out of the way, though, my friend. My friend, go smash that boy. Kill all of these guys. And just repair yourself again. You are the conduit for our destruction over here. I think in general that's what his use is supposed to be with this crew, is just to make sure that everyone's gathered together. For a lightning blast. Like, we move him here, we move him, we pull this guy over. Actually, reset turn. We move him over here. We hit this guy with the boulder. Then we pull him over. Now we blast this. We've killed all of the dudes. The other way would have worked fine with just pulling him over, but he wouldn't have died. I wouldn't have, when I wouldn't have been able to kill him without also damaging the building. So I wanted to avoid that, obviously. Okay, we got the beetle guy who likes to charge things. I guess rocks could help with that. We got a one health leaper. And we got the armor boy. So... Let's see. Let's bridge the gap back here and just have him in the back. I think the leaper may be able to jump to me here. Charging boy's coming. Leaper's over here, so we can easily shock him. What I think I want to do, though, is just walk over, shock these guys. And then hit him with a boulder. Alright, so the armor's now gone. Boulder toss here. And... We could go and shield our friends. Let's give you a shield. I forgot that that was a power we had, but it's useful. Oh, he sets the tiles on fire. He's a monster. Why would you do this when you know I will kill you? So pull him over. He's now on fire. We can also just chain and hit pretty much everybody here. 
This guy's gonna do five damage to us. We can prevent that with a... Uh... Here, let's do a rock toss on him. Now we're on fire, but we're not, uh... We're not taking massive damage or anything like that, so... End your turn there. And this guy's got a, a timer. He's almost... He'll be dead by the end, so we should get that achievement. Or not achievement, but that bonus objective. How do we want to do this? I can bring him up here. Have him pull this guy over. And now blast all these guys. Seems like a decent thing. All right, now we need to just get rid of this. Like so. End our turn here. All these buildings are safe. Our guy is near dead, so he's gonna- he is gonna have to repair himself. Which is unfortunate. Which- it means we cannot do any major damage here this turn. Because we gotta spend a turn repairing. So he's doing one damage. I think we gotta move like him over... Over there? No, we gotta get this thing out of the way. I guess we can take grid damage over here, potentially. But this thing's gotta go. Here. That negates this shot and the damage there. And now we need to get his uh, healing on, or he is toast. And he is my last remaining pilot, so definitely don't want that to go down. There's no way for me to protect this building. I don't think. Yeah. Yeah, I can't, I can't, uh, oh! Never mind, it was a dust thing. I'm an actual fool, I was thinking of just killing one of the other guys. The, man, I'm, I'm missing so much stuff right now, like, I don't know. My head's not all in it, I guess. What's our other objective other than, um... Uh, so the 30 minute one we failed, obviously. Block four emerging Vec in a single turn. Okay. That one's not too difficult. Yeah, this situation just has to present itself for that. Alright, let's uh, probably sell the cryo launcher. Do we want any of these? Th rock launcher, throw a rock at the target. Rock remains as an obstacle. That might be useful. Smoke pellets could be useful. I think you just gotta go reactor core though. And then, do we sell this and buy a couple grid power or do we just... We'll buy one grid power and we'll transfer this over to next time. Alright, let's see what we can do with a grid here.
Let's give him the movement. And yeah, so I, Island 2 did not go well, neither did Island 1, but uh, we'll see how things go. We're going to keep moving on. We're going to try to go for a four island win, but uh, you know, we've, uh, <laughs> we've run into some mishaps here. All right, everybody, like the video if you're enjoying it. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more, and I'll catch you next time.